This time, I'm going to talk about how to build a monetization schedule with Python. Then, what is a monetization? A monetization typically refers to the process of writing down the value of either a loan or an intangible asset. Let's take a look at the example so we can understand it better. If we have a loan with a beginning balance, $30,000, and we have to pay it down within 5 years or 60 months, when we calculate amortization schedule, we'll make the total payment for every month be the same. In this example, the total payment will be $579.98 for every month. As we pay it down, the ending balance will be reduced until it reaches zero. Every month, we will pay the same amount according to this amortization schedule. Within this total payment, there are two components. One is for interest, another one is for principal. At the beginning, the interest will be 150, and as the ending balance reduced, of course, the interest amount will be reduced too. And in the meantime, the principal portion for this payment will increase. Let's take a look at the graph. The beginning balance is $30,000. And when we pay it down, after 60 months, the principal and the interest will reach zero. As I mentioned, for every month, we'll pay same amount according to the amortization schedule. You can see the interest portion for this payment will be reduced but the principal portion for this payment will increase. In order to build this amortization schedule, first we need to calculate monthly payment. Monthly payment is calculated based on this formula. P is the beginning balance, that is, the amount borrowed. And R is annual interest rate. And N is number of monthly payments. For my previous example, N will be 60, because we have to pay it down within 5 years. So, principal times interest for the month and times 1 plus interest for the month and take power of n divided by 1 plus interest for the month and take power of n minus 1. With this formula, we can calculate the same payment for every month, this capital M. If you use Excel, there is a function PMT will calculate monthly payment. You will write the formula like PMT and first parameter will be monthly interest rate, second parameter will be periods, and third parameter will be mortgage. That 
is our beginning balance. And again, you can see, although we have same payment for every month, the interest portion will be reduced. Well, in the meantime, the principal portion will be increased. Then, how do we calculate monthly principal payment? As I mentioned, total monthly payment is the same for every month. So from this total monthly payment, we will deduct the interest portion. That will be our principal payment. The interest portion will be outstanding loan balance times interest rate for one month. That will be our interest portion. We deduct that from total monthly payment we will get our principal payment. When we build our amortization schedule, we need to consider prepayment risk. Prepayment risk is closely related to interest rate. If interest rates decrease, the homeowner will have an incentive to refinance the home loan. And when interest rates increase, the homeowner will have an incentive to repay the home loan more quickly with additional principal to avoid higher future interest payments. Let's take a look how can we build our amortization schedule with Python. In this model, I'm going to consider three scenarios. One is low interest rate with no additional prepayment. And second scenario is high interest rate with no additional principal payment. And third scenario, we will consider prepayment risk, that is, with a low interest rate, with additional principal payment. In this example, I am going to pay extra $200 for every month. Let's see what we will get. You can see the payment will start from March 1st, 2021. And the payment is constant for every month, about $477. And the principal payment will increase gradually, and interest payment will decrease gradually. With the first example, we will have low interest, zero additional principal. You can see the remaining balance starting with $100,000 and will be reduced to zero after 30 years. So, this is first scenario. This orange line represents the second scenario with a high interest and zero additional principal. You can see, although it lasts for 30 years, just like the first scenario, the payment will be higher because the interest rate is high, so additional interest payment will be required. With the third scenario, 
because we have two hundred dollars additional principal payment for every month. The remaining balance will be reduced quickly, and before it reached thirty years, it paid off already. So, if the interest rate is very high, the homeowner will most likely to pay off quickly to avoid the high interest rate charge. This is how I build amortization schedule with Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.